I'm Peggy Snow and I'm the Youth Service Coordinator here at John Harden High School. Tonight is our open house and our back to school bash and all our Bulldog families are coming in with their students and the students are able to find out about their classes, they're able to meet their teachers, they're picking up their schedules, they're meeting the staff and the faculty, the guidance counselors, the principals, and they're also able to find out all about our clubs and our sporting activities and it's just a great night for our Bulldog families to get ready for back to school. We also have some picnic food and they're going to be able to use a dunk tank. So it's just fun family stuff for our Bulldogs to get excited to come back and learn for the new year. For more information about the Youth Service Center, you can call me, Peggy Snow, at 270-769-8979, or you can email me at peggy.snow at harden.kyschools.us. And of course, you can always get on the John Harden website and find all your teachers, the faculty, the staff, the principal, everyone's email is available on our John Harden website. Um, I wanted to speak with you all about dual credit opportunities. Um, how many of you are the parent of a freshman in here? Good. Thank you for being proactive. That is great. I will give you all kinds of information at this point to help your child along the way. If you have a sophomore child, great. Juniors, good. Seniors, good. Okay, so let me start with freshmen. These are the classes that are going to be open to your child at whichever point they are eligible to take them. And I say that because if your student is accelerated in math, so we have some students who come in that they have walked over or they have come to us and they have already had Algebra 1 and Geometry. In their freshman year, they are taking Algebra 2 then their sophomore year, they are going to be eligible to potentially take college algebra and trigonometry. But in order to be able to take any dual credit class, you must make benchmarks on the ACT and you must have at least a cumulative GPA of a 2.5. So here at John Harden, we give all sophomores the ACT. We do not do that until the end of their sophomore year. It is on a school day. I don't know the exact date yet. It'll be in March or April. Benchmarks are here at the top. In order to be in a math dual credit class, your student has to make at least a 22 on the math portion of the ACT. In order to be in any other dual credit class, they must make benchmark in both English and reading. So to be in a history, an English, a science, any of those, they have to make a benchmark in English and reading. So I have two children. One is high school age. I had him start taking the ACT at the end of his freshman year for the first time. It is unlike any test they have ever taken and they walk out of that three and a half, four hours with glazed eyes, wondering what just happened to them. And then the next time they take it, they know a little bit more about what to expect. And okay, I'm gonna get a break after these first two and I'm gonna get to walk around a minute and then I'm gonna go back in and hit it for the next two tests and they get better. And they know what they need to study for the math portion. And they know how to um, use their time more wisely because there's 60 questions in 60 minutes on the math test. So they know that. And they know when five minutes is called that they are going to have to just bubble straight C all the way down to the end because it's better to guess than, not, than leave it blank. And they start to get better at those things. But they can only get better at it if they start early. If they are only given one shot before these dual credit opportunities open up for them, then, then that's, that's not to their advantage. Um, now, let's say you're a junior or a senior sitting in here. You met benchmark in English, you met benchmark in math, but you did not meet benchmark in reading. You've taken the ACT four times already. You can still make benchmark in reading in order to be eligible for dual credit classes. But you must go to ECTC Assessment Center in order to do that. 
and you must go before school starts. That means tomorrow or Wednesday in order to do that. Your student, your juniors and seniors parents, I don't know if any of you have ever seen this, but they were given this in January to bring home and share with you. Freshmen and sophomores were not because it does not apply to many of them, but all juniors and seniors were given this piece of paper. Um, each of the trimesters here show the classes that are offered here on campus that we have. Now this year, the biology class did not make. There were not enough students who signed up and made benchmark. We have a teacher who is certified to teach it. We just don't have the interest in it. Now after they graduate and come back, they say, why didn't you make me take that biology class? I did not know. Um, I did not know that I should have done that while I was here. Um, so encourage your students. It is a third of the cost while they're here. So $58 per credit hour. And starting their junior year, they get two free classes. So let's say their junior year, they are in a history class and they are in um, a computer class. Those two are free. Then senior year, they, they take English 101, 102, public speaking, and literary studies. You'll have to pay for those, but it's only at a third of the cost. A bargain, a true bargain. There are no more scholarships for that. They cannot use their keys money, um, but it is still, I think it's great for freshman parents now. You can start kind of putting that away. Think, okay, $50, $50, $50, so that when the time comes, you can pay for that. Um, these classes at the bottom, all of these classes are online, but students can take them, I say during the school day here, at what we will do is provide for them a space to take them. So we may put them in the library, provide them a computer, or we may put them in credit recovery, provide them a, a computer and 70 minutes to take, you know, time to spend on it during the school day but the classes are actually online. To everyone in here, I say, well, first let me ask, those of you who went to college, how many times did you change your major while you were in college? Yeah, I mean, at least two. I think I was four before I, before I got it, right? So your child is gonna tell you right now what they wanna do, and you're gonna start making plans for that and your kid is gonna take college algebra and trig and calculus and all of these things, and then they're gonna get out of school and they're gonna decide, I don't wanna do anything math related. This is not what I'm doing. It's okay, it's all right. At least they found that out for a third of the cost, right? And not while it was full time and at UK or U of L. So I, incur I think it's a wonderful opportunity. I'm excited that ECTC is working with us creating these opportunities. I'm excited that the state has provided these opportunities. Um, I feel like we have many more students here at John Harden who should and could be taking advantage of these that aren't. Um, and a lot of times they don't realize it until they're out and they're gone. And they've gone down to Western and they've even this summer, some of them have emailed me and said, I should have done 101, 102 and literary studies like you said. And all I email back is, I know. I know. Um, but I, I do want to say also one more thing with that, and then I'll take any questions you have. Look at the general ed studies for the college that your students think they're going to go to. So we have tried our best to make our classes as general as possible so that it, they're not wasting credits, so that all students need computers. They have to have at least one computer class. All students need English 101 regardless of where they're going. But all students may not need both college algebra and trigonometry depending on what their major is going to be. So look at that knowing that they're going to change their mind about three more times before they actually get to college. But look at that and make plans based on that so that they're not taking classes unnecessarily and so that you at least have a map of where they want to go. UK's requirements are different than U of L's, are different than Western's, are different than Eastern's, are different than Center used to accept no dual credit. I'm being told now that they are accepting some dual credit. I don't know the, I haven't talked to them recently. They probably don't want to talk to me after the first student came back and told me who had 12 credit hours and they weren't accepting any of them. 
And I called their office, and I'm like, what do you mean you're not accepting any of them? You are just out for the money. And the kid had to take them over. The kid had to take all the classes over again at their school. So, but I've heard that they've changed that. So you might, if your child is interested in that college, make sure that you look into it. Look into all of those things and talk to the admissions counselors at those individual schools. Questions for me? Okay, so her question was, isn't there a test they can take at the end of honors courses to also receive credit? That is AP, Advanced Placement. So Advanced Placement courses are also college level courses. There is an exam at the end of that course. It's currently $95, I believe. If the student scores a 3, 4, or 5, there is a, an agreement with each of the colleges that they will accept the credit, just not how they will accept the credit. So um, if, 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 if they took the U.S. History AP test, they may give it as an elective credit. They may give it as a history credit. They all, each school also does that differently on how they accept those credits. Hello, I'm Coach Roy Wickler with the John Harden Archery Team. We shoot under the National Archer in School Program. Our upcoming season is going to start about the third week of September after fall break. Anybody who is interested can go to uh, Coach Mike Maritz's room at 8 o'clock in the morning, September 9th. We'll also be having our parent meeting at 6.30, uh, September 11th in the high school gym. Also, if anybody's interested, you can find information on uh, the school website under John Harden. Go to the athletic pages and find the archery from there. You'll find all our program information and scheduled for the season. If you have any questions, please contact Mike Moritz with John Harden High School. Hi, I'm Coach Humphrey. I'm the JV volleyball coach here at John Harden High School, and this is Coach Taylor. She's the freshman coach, and we're just here at Open House um, advertising for our girls and um, our upcoming season. And our first game is August 19th against Fort Knox, so we welcome you there and hope that you come out and support us. Uh, we start off-season conditioning on 5 October for the John Harden Bulldog softball team. Uh, if you need more information, the email address is radesa, R-A-D-D-E-S-A, -E 05 at gmail.com. Uh, I'd like to have everybody come out and play some, some softball. Thanks. My name's Coach York. I coach, uh, I'm assistant coach here at John Harden High. We are uh, looking for uh, talent, kids that... Uh, got a drive and want to learn baseball feel free to come out we start conditioning uh, late November and tryouts are uh, in February um, if you want to join you can reach uh, point of contact to be uh, Jeremy coach Jeremy Hall room 108 Hi, I'm Ella White. I'm Jaden Wallace. And we're from Beta Club, and Beta Club is all about service hours and community. And so you need 15 service hours per trimester, at least a 3.5 GPA. And if you want to join, you can go see Miss Moore in room 222. Come and join us. Okay. Okay. HOSA, Health Occupational Students of America. HOSA is a national organization that provides a unique program of leadership development, motivation, recognition, exclusively for secondary, post-secondary, collegiate, and adult students enrolled in health science. I'm Naya Sims from John Harden, and I'm the secretary. My name is Jacqueline Rodriguez, and I'm the treasurer of HOSA. And I'm Shia Hufftailing, and I am the historian. And so HOSA for um, Elizabethtown is basically a compromise of North Harden, Central Harden, and John Harden. This year we have moved it over to the Early College and Career Center. That's where all our meetings will be taken. And um, one of the main goals for HOSA this year is definitely to become more involved in both the Radcliffe and Elizabethtown community. HOSA is comprised of the EKG Technician Certification, Pre-Nursing, Pharmacy Technician, Phlebotomy, and Sports Medicine. We do things like visit the veterans nursing homes, we do walkthroughs through dementia, we raise awareness for Alzheimer's and breast cancer. If you're interested in joining HOSA and if you go to John Harden right now, uh, you can definitely always contact the school. They'll have a HOSA application that looks exactly like this. And then uh, we do have some uh, a Remind in Google Classroom. And uh, your other school should offer it. So if you go to Central, if you go to North, they should have it there. And if you do go to EC3, you can talk to directly the teachers. It'll be Miss April Bowman and Miss Monica Hall. Monica Hall, yes. And they're the sponsors for EC3 HOSA. And it'll be, like I said, compromise of Central, North, and John. Hello, I'm Sarah Jones, the president of the FFA chapter. I'm Serenity Harden, vice president of the FFA chapter. 
I'm Summer McCune, reporter of the FFA chapter. I'm William White, Sentinel of the FFA chapter. So FFA is an agriculture program. We want to inspire students to be leaders in our community. We want them to be involved in the community and in our school. So we have a lot of community service projects. We do a lot of 5Ks, a lot of pet washes, things like that. We want to just promote community involvement and we want kids to be able to see that agriculture isn't about just farming. It has so much more like agribusiness and everything. So we want them to just be involved. It just come down to the classroom really. Coach Hall's room, uh, room 108. And Join. Robotics is a robotics program ran through EC3. If you want to join, you can see Ms. Collard. Uh, we compete at events, build robots, research. If you're interested in the VEX Robotics program or TSA, see Jason Nagel and Lori Collard. Hi, my name is Katie Lewis and I am the John Hines DECA president. So DECA is a business and marketing club that competes in different competitions. So we compete at the regional, state, and international level, and you have to place like first, second, third, or fourth, or fifth to be able to advance to the state, and then once you get to state, you can place first, second, fourth, or third to advance the international competition. So our regional competition is at WKU, our state is at the Galt House in Louisville, Kentucky, and this year we are actually going to Nashville, Tennessee to compete for our international competition. So to be able to join DECA, you just talk to Angela Lewis which is our deck advisor as well as our business and marketing teacher and you can sign up by going to the table in our comments during our membership week which will be sometime at the beginning of the year in August. Hi I'm coach Nikki Coleman I coach girls basketball at John Harden High School I'm looking forward to a great season I want to see you guys come out for tryouts we're gonna be having open gym soon so continue to look for the announcements of when it's gonna happen and we'll see you on the court. I'm coach Stockton I'm the offensive coordinator here at John Harden football and uh, we really want to get you guys out. We are still taking in kids right now. I know a lot of you guys had some some great spring break, uh, summer breaks and now you're showing up but we're still wanting kids to come out. We have a scrimmage this Thursday against Warren East that's going to be at our place and we'd like to get a crowd to come out and uh, watch that. So um, if you guys want to know the rest of our schedule please jump on Twitter. Uh, John Harden Football's Twitter. I have the schedule there or you can jump on John Harden website and we'll have it under the football uh, 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 tab also. Thank you. How you guys doing? I'm Coach Vogel. We're out here trying to get runners uh, out here for the cross country team and track team, whichever one you want to sign up. Uh, all high schools are welcome, so if you could come on down, sign up. Uh, my name is Laura. My name is Caitlin. And we play at John Harden Girls Soccer. Uh, I think that you guys should come out and play because it's a great, it's like a really great program. Um, our coaches care about us and um, the games start on Wednesday with a scrimmage, and the season starts when, uh, when school starts, so it's really convenient. For more information, reach out to Eric Kavinsky, our head coach. His email is eric.kavinsky at stu.harden.kentuckyschools.us. Hi, I'm Anna Parker. I'm a cheerleader, and I'm looking forward to the season. Go dogs! <laughs> I'm Kaylin. I'm the president. And this is FCCLA. So FCCLA is a family, career, community, leaders of America program. And we go around the community and help them in any way that we can. And it's a very fun little club that we have. And people filled with good hearts. So you guys should come out and join FCCLA. For information, you can see Miss Kersinger and Miss Million downstairs. I'm Lillian Delk. I was president of the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, also known as FCA. We, uh, it's a place where Christian students don't have to be an athlete, can meet with one of our, it, uh, can meet together, safe environment. There are usually Tuesdays and Thursdays in the morning. You can go to Miss Forest or Miss Field. Miss Forest is in 234, Miss Field is in 405. Hi, I'm Tristan Wright, and this is my twin brother Brandon, and we're the co-presidents for Gaming Club, a club that meets daily, every Thursday, every week, for gaming that includes D&D, video games, and board games. If you need to know more information about us, contact Miss Brown Alan, or Travis, which is a junior this year. We also have eSports, which will be starting towards the May. Uh, come talk, Ms. Tom, talk to Miss Brown. Or and ask for my email, or go and talk to her about it. We'll have multiple teams you can join. 
mainly League of Legends, which will be the team that I'm on, but we also have Rocket League and many other games happening soon. Good afternoon. I'm Staff Sergeant Ford of Elizabethtown Army Recruiting Station. I'd like to come up here this afternoon at John Harden High School. We've donated all the food for everybody to have a great time. I'd like to put out also the Army Active and Army Reserves. We offer over 150 individual jobs that could explore numerous opportunities, career goals, and even college tuition scholarships. For more information, you can look us up on Facebook, Elizabethtown Army Recruiter, or you can find us uptown uh, 4031 North Dixie Highway, uh, right across the street from IHOP and Cheddar's. Okay, catch up for